What's up guys, I'm Chris of Palmer Aquatics and today I'm gonna show you how to fix your sponge filter that has stopped working. So we're gonna dive right into it. Um, we're doing a deep cleansing today and uh, it turns out like four or five sponge filters out of like the 50 tanks are just not working. So uh, this is the tank that the sponge filter is not working. As you can see here, uh, it is kind of one of those double dual sponge filters. And what's happening is there's just nothing coming out of it. So or, there is a tiny bit, but that's the same as just not working essentially because we want decent flow on these sponge filters because that's how you know water is going through the sponges. That's our filter system. So what I usually do is you always start from the very top of the list, your air source. So what I always do is I take out the sponge filter and I disconnect it. And this one connects at the bottom. So then just to make sure, I always check to see if the air source is working, which it is. So that leads me to believe that something is wrong with the filter unit itself. So then what I do here is I break down the neck. With these, you can take them apart. And the issue, what I, what I then what I do is I plug just this in to see if this works. So this is not working or it's barely working. So something is wrong in between here and the tube itself. And I'll tell you right now, I can tell that these things always get clogged on the inside of there because the hole is usually too small on these. I wish I could design one of these sponge filters myself, but I can't. So what you can do is you can kind of take a toothpick and try to clean it. Um, what I do is I get a drill bit and I bore out that inside hole right there. So I'm gonna grab this drill. You can stay there. So then what I do is I get a little eighth inch drill bit on a drill. And I know this sounds scary guys, but it actually isn't. Um, and before drilling a hole, if you're not safe doing that, what you can do is get something sharp and kind of just try to pick away at that hole because the air comes through the side and on the inside. And this is what fails a lot of times on sponge filters. You know, these sponge filters, the regular ones over here, these also have things that fail on the inside as well. This is an aquarium a co-op sponge filter. But what happens is there's usually a failure. Look at how gooey that is. That, that could be a failure right there by itself. Look at that, you squeeze it out. A lot of times what's happening is you just gotta follow the air source and figure out where the air is getting clogged. Um, but back to this hang on the back, um, or not a hang on the back, a dual sponge filter. What I do is I just kinda, sometimes you gotta drill out these holes a little bit. See that hole right there? What I do is just run a drill bit. I just kinda ream it out a little bit. Shouldn't do that over the tank. That's a little idiotic, but. And then, uh, and then I rinse it through the sink. And then what I do is I hook it up again and I test to see if the air is finally going through it. See, we're back to business. That was the issue. So literally just work your way down from the air source and just figure out where the clog is. It's all you can do. If you have a lot of tanks, fixing sponge filters becomes a nightmare, but it's just part, it's the nature of the beast of this job. <clears throat> but yeah, different sponge filters have different designs. Um, this is my method on how to fix a sponge filter that's not working. Um, another issue you could have is a weak air pump. Um, and all I can tell you to do with that is just buy a bigger air pump. A lot of times you can read in the description how much air they put out per outlet. I'm not going to geek out on that though. All right, guys, um, let me know in the comment section if this helped you fix your sponge filter that's not working. Uh, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one.